Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can enter and convert between decimal degrees and degrees minutes seconds on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the option key that looks like this located here, the S to D conversion key that looks like this located here, and the F3, F4, and F5 keys that look like this, located here. Let's say we're given a problem like this. 2 degrees, 20 minutes, and 30 seconds, plus 9 minutes, 30 seconds. And we want to solve that on our calculator. Well, how do we enter degrees, minutes, seconds? To do that, first we hit the Option key so that we see this list of options at the bottom here. We need to hit the F6 to go to the next set of options. And we see here, under F5, Angle. That's what we need, so we hit F5. Now we see here are different angle options. Degrees, Radians, Gradients, and at F4, this represents Degrees, Minutes, Seconds. We can go ahead and get started. We'll enter our two degrees, and then we hit the F4, and we see a degree symbol appear beside our two. So that's telling our calculator that's two degrees. Next we enter the 20 minutes, and then we hit F4 again, and we see the symbol appear again. It appears like the degree symbol, but since it's coming after the two degrees, because of the context, our calculator knows that represents minutes and then 30 seconds, and then the F4 again, and again we get that symbol, which in this context represents seconds. So we have 2 degrees, 20 minutes, 30 seconds. Now we go plus, and now we have 0 degrees here, so we go 0, F4, 9 minutes, 30 seconds. There we go. We've got that entered. Now we can just hit EXE and we see that gives us 2.5 degrees. So this answer is in decimal degrees. If we want to convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds, we can hit F5 here, which represents convert to degrees, minutes, seconds. So if we hit that, we get 2 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds, which is correct. And if we want to convert that back to decimal degrees, we can hit the S to D or conversion key, which initially might give us a fraction, but if we hit it again, converts it back to decimal degrees. So that 2 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds is equal to 2.5 decimal degrees. Another option is if we're given that 2.5 decimal degrees, and want to convert that straight to our degrees, minutes, seconds. We can hit the F6 key so that we come to this set of options and we see under F3 we have a convert to degrees, minutes, seconds. So if we hit that, we get 2.5 decimal degrees into degrees, minutes, seconds and we hit EXE. We see we get our 2 degrees, 30 minutes, 0 seconds. We can also use this when working with time, since both degrees and hours have 60 minutes in them. For example, let's say we were given 1.75 hours and wanted to know how many hours and minutes that was. Well, we can just enter that 1.75 and tell our calculator to convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds, or in this case, hours, minutes, seconds. Hit EXE and see we get one hour, 45 minutes, which is correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.